Good morning, morning y'all. Welcome to the Freeport. Last. It's Freeport. We don't even say last name. <laughs> nah, it's Freeport. We're it's here. Fine. Yay. Um, yeah, so we are officially docked. We've been mm -hmm. here for a little while. I know earlier there was like some fire boat <laughs> spray and stuff like that. Y'all, we were sleeping. <laughs> Such amateurs. But they didn't really... I guess we should have known that they were doing that because it's the first time back from court and that's know. a thing, but, but we didn't know. So, shoot. Lots of other vloggers captured it. Go check that out. That's true. All right, we're going to get some breakfast. Yeah. We're going to go see if we can get our Rona test because we do have to do that in order to get back to the U.S. Correct. Uh, scheduled for 1025, but we have an excursion at 1045. So, we're going to try and go earlier. Yeah, but breakfast and poke poke nose. You heard of the poke nose, right? And let's get our day started. Mm -hmm. All right. Come on. <laughs> We just checked in for our test. They gave us some little testing vials, and so here we are on deck five of the dining room. Never really had a chance to look around deck five. It's been closed. Oof, there's a pole. And boom, we are all done. That was just a nasal swab, so piece of cake. Happy Friday, y'all. Let's go to deck 11. So now we are gonna head to Windjammer for breakfast. But yeah, that was actually super easy. Deck 11. Good morning. Good morning. We we have no reservation, of course. Let's get our washi washi on. Oh, I might copy her into a chocolate croissant and a banana bread, too. That sounded good. <laughs> breakfast pretty much looks like most every other breakfast I've been getting. I do like they have like an interesting avocado toast option some morning, so I got that. I think she said it was avocado toast with burrata. It's a cheese. Yeah. So, standard coffee, juice, water. You know, muesli, because I gotta have my muesli. Good stuff. I guess one of the fun things about Freeport is you can sit here and ship watch. We're seeing a little teeny baby Royal Caribbean ship over there, which we're told is the grandeur. That's about as close as I can get to her, but that's our old friend right there. I never got to show this earlier, but they've got these buzzers here. When you order an omelet or something like that, they will give you a buzzer. That way when it's ready, it's just like buzz, buzz, come pick up your omelet. So that's kind of cool. And we're using the new exit. Snack, snack, snacks. <laughs> so room service is alive and well. We just asked for one more beach towel from the steward. D has run down to retrieve it, but I guess the only difference is what? They're not bringing the room service into your room. They will leave it out in the hall. That's what I've heard, yeah. Okay. But otherwise normal, I guess. Okay, okay, okay. We are ready to roll out and explore some Freeport. We got about 20 minutes mm -hmm. till we meet for our excursion out on the pier. Yeah. Got our mask assistances ready to go. It's for uh, the Bahamas right. at this time. That's right. But we'll go take a peek, see what we see, and then we're going on an excursion. I guess Which we'll we're say, pretty excited about. We're going to the beach. It's We've done this excursion <laughs> before, but we're just doing the beach mode. Mm -hmm. Like, um, I know with Royal... There's, we've been to this beach excursion on other cruise lines, shall I say, where they offer three different levels, right. which is go to the beach, go to the beach with drinks, and go to the beach with drinks and food. Now, we normally choose the middle finger there. We've done, we've done the food also, we have. but we haven't done just the beach. Anyways. True. Um, Royal, this sailing, only has the first finger and the third finger, so it's either <laughs> just the beach or drinks and food, and we right. don't need drinks and food, so uh, we're just going to the beach. We know. might buy some drinks. Who knows? I don't know. We'll see. It's always Let's a good time, place. though. Yeah, it's Bahamas Adventures Beach Club, yeah. but it's just called Beach Getaway. Yeah. Through the For ship. this one. So, mm -hmm. all right. Let's go. Seems to be a pretty popular idea. Yeah. Right, beach time. <laughs> yes. Dig one. It is very loud out here. We're going to head out the gate and through the fence gate. Shore excursions this way. So, not everything is up and running. Let's have a wander out here and see what's going on. I hear music, I hear voices, I see shopping. Yeah, they've still got all the cute little shopping out here. There's the straw market over here across the road. Inclusive folks get to roll up first. Now it's our turn, so we're wandering down here to the second bus. Oh, just kidding, they just broke the line and said, okay, let's get you guys on a third bus. Hey! Well, we get a little washy washy as we get on the bus, too. 
All right, we are all loaded up. So 11 o'clock, they started handing out bracelets. 11.20, we're on the bus. We're getting there. Yeah, almost there. When you arrive on the beach, we just need you guys to have your mask on, but if you're sitting down in the beach chair, just relaxing, you do not have to wear your mask. But if you're roaming around, always have it on for me, okay? All right. We will be on the road for just about 20 minutes to the beach where you'll be spending a few minutes here on the island. We will enjoy our few minutes on the <laughs> island. <laughs> you gotta include transportation and everything in there. It's okay. I'll give you a little bit of, I'll try to give you a little bit of history about Grand Bahama and the okay. houses we traveled to Lukaya. Is that okay? Yeah. Sure. Oh, I, think his, I think his microphone broke. There we go. Nope. Well, we've gotten the history of the Bahamas the last few times we're here, so we'll just remember our history of the Bahamas. Go watch this video. That's right. All right. Cue the musical montage. I am fascinated by this window. I don't know. This is not Bahamas Adventures Beach Club like I thought it was. We are down here by the Stoned Crab. Huh. Let's see what this place is called. Now the stock photos on Royal's website They're really Bahamas Adventures really Beach. made it look like Bahamas Adventures Beach Club because we've been there several times. But they did not advertise that in the wording, so maybe they reserved the right to pick a beach resort of their choosing. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Pirates Cove. <laughs> Blackbeard Tree Bar. Yeah, there should be some kind of leg. Hey, oh, I see they're stopping us up here maybe to tell us what to do. Gosh, ice cream. Wood carving. Yeah, we normally always come over to Tano Beach to some beach club, so this is a new one for us. Well, there doesn't seem to be any kind of orientation. I do see a gentleman in a shirt back there pointing and telling some folks things, but we were not really corralled into any sort of central location and we're like, hello, here's what to do. Here's what you can use, here's what you can't use. So I guess we'll read the rules as best we can and figure it out because we're smart, right? Sometimes. I mean, we totally missed that sign at the Ocean Lagoon pool that said no floats and it was clearly on the sign and we're like, I don't see it. All right, a little wavy, but not too bad. I think we can do that. It's not bad or good. It's not the place we've been. No, it's not. This is a new experience for us. All right, I guess we're going to water mode and see how it goes. Let's see how this splashy swim zone goes. It doesn't look too bad. It looks kind of nice and sandy, but I have a feeling we're going to be a little stirred up for fishy footage today. Well, that was fast. Yeah, the initial report is no snorkeling. Yeah. I mean, it is very stirred up, so <laughs> we'll give it that. I'll put my float out. All right, sounds good. You have to inflate it. Oh, I know. I got all that hot air. Don't worry. <laughs> no, no shortage of hot air for me. So Dee has traded her snorkel in for her float today. 
I think it's definitely going to be one of those relaxing ocean days. Gosh, yes, I get pummeled by waves, but not too bad. Did not need water shoes for sure. There's a couple of little rocks, but nothing serious. Yeah, you're going to be ashore here in a minute. Gosh. Wow. Hey now. Yeah, so hopefully we're doing what we're supposed to be doing. Like I said, we didn't really get any instructions, so we just no idea. we found a chair. We got. Kelly and Sven back there with us as well, and uh, they had three chairs, and so we're just like, cool, can we have your third chair? And they're like, sure, <laughs> pay a small fee and we can have their third chair. But they're here on the all-inclusive ticket today. Uh, Nancy and Anthony are here on the all-inclusive ticket. I think that's all I know of that's here today, but we'll let you know if we, we run into any other folks. As we, oh, we ran into some folks on the bus, but I didn't get their names. Shoot. Anyway, but this is what we're doing for now. I don't even need sunglasses. It's overcast, the water is refreshing, but not too refreshing. And then waves come up and flat in the side of the hand. Ma'am, you are almost <laughs> beached. Thank you, Kelly. Man, Where Kelly has gone up to rescue D. All right, there we go. <laughs> I'm actually making it worse for D. I'm putting her out to the ocean. Oh, no, don't I'm put her over. Saving her. Uh oh, we may never see her again. Uh, huh. <laughs> <laughs> we thought she was nice. Now we're not so sure. I'm not sure the motivation here. If you guys watch the Florida vlog, we did the wave pool. Uh, yep. At Omni with float. That's what this feels That's like. That's exactly what it's like. It's pretty cool though. I like it. Yeah. Speaking of this float, did you know we have an Amazon affiliate store? Oh we, you can God. get your own. <laughs> do you know how many times we get asked that question? Do. A lot. In every video. Yeah. Where do you get a float? So we just answer it. And That's it right. That's up. right. It's called an aqua hammock. Yes. And it's in our Amazon affiliate That's store. right. Find the link in the description. I've only mentioned it like 50 <laughs> times in this series so far. Yes. But somebody's going to ask. They are, right? We're just being humble. <laughs> oh, Look how much fun you're going to have. <laughs> Whoa. Y'all, you are going to get seasick just watching this buddy. I know. Okay. I like it. I'm gonna, it's fun. I'm gonna, small doses. Small doses. Ah, Sven went up to get the snorkel gear. Well, maybe you'll have better luck. Uh, Oh, you guys are cool. I'm gonna find a shark. No. Uh, well, no, we don't need any of that action. <laughs> Hold on now. Let us know really loud. <laughs> those are the piranhas. Don't throw those away. Oh, I'll, I'll take that piranhas. I'll hold up. I'll, I'll hold them for you. Amazon affiliates. Yes, Amazon affiliates. <laughs> um, if you... Those are prescription, Jay. Oh we will, shoot. <laughs> I got my superstar sunglasses, which I'm not wearing today, but I could look fabulous in some paradas. I see people with food and drink. Yeah, so the food and drink must be ready. Oh, I do see people with it. All right, Kelly is off on her snorkel. Up, oh, Sven too. He's just got the goggles, so they're gonna go see what they can see. These are cool. I guess. Like, uh, I don't know what you call them. It's like uh, sunglass goggles yeah. or something almost. It's tinted. There's a word. Well, you know, I don't know polarized. Maybe. Yeah. Something like that. But if we get any good reports from them about fish, then uh, you might have to run back up there. Right now, I'm just having a ball. Yeah. yeah. All right. Literally. This is where we'll be if you need us. Uh, let's just take a little peek around the beach while we're here. So not too bad. Little seaweed on the shore, but nothing serious. They've got jet skis. We have not checked how much those are yet, but I'm pretty sure, 99% sure they would not be included. I just got the report that the water is cloudy, not much visibility, so no snorkel footage with D today. Floating footage. Floating footage is all we get. All right, we've had enough water mode for now. Oh gosh. Did you tell them that? No, I have not oh, yet. We'll, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do it on the other camera. Dee uh, officially went snorkeling for reasons that we didn't think she was gonna have to go snorkeling for today. But we'll get to that in a minute. We are gonna have a wander now up to the bar. Y'all, it's story time with Jay. What in the world? These waves, I'm telling you. Normally, when I go in the ocean, I put our ship cards and our ID either in my zipper pocket on my bathing suit, or you know, sometimes I forget, I leave it in my main pocket, and I don't have any bad luck with it. But these waves, they bounce them cards right out of my pocket today. So we had to call all hands on deck. We had a gentleman with some goggles, D was out there, Nancy was out there, everybody was looking, but they recovered, the gentleman recovered the two ship cards. We thought all hope was lost with the IDs, but Miss D eventually found them. I thought people were gonna steal our identity, we'd have to come up with a new one. I know. So we stole our own identities back, but all is good in the world. We got our ship cards and our IDs, and I'm not putting them in that pocket again. I recommend a neck pouch with seals. I usually I have one, idea. but I did not bring it. There is one in our, no, actually there's probably not one in our Amazon affiliate, whatever. I'm not talking about You'll that anymore. You'll see it all in Nancy's channel too, I'm sure. <laughs> Y'all, she's probably talked about it like crazy. 
but uh, don't recommend doing that. We're noobs, apparently. Yeah, we are. It's our first time, so. Woo, I was scared for a minute. <laughs> hey. So Blackbeard Tree Bar is what we're doing today. So there is no menu here to look at right now, but he gave us a verbal list of the drinks and he said the pricing on the menu is not their pricing right now anyway. I don't know if that means more or less, <laughs> but we each got a Bahama Mama. It's $10 a piece. Currently. So prices may change and may vary. Maybe there's a menu somewhere. <laughs> yeah, they've got Jack Sparrow's Grill Pit for some food over there. I see another little window over here. Oh, I can't read the name of that one. Yeah, some bathrooms and stuff. All right, we are both Bahama Mama'd up. And the pricing does include the 12% VAT tax, of course, so I guess that's something to keep in mind. But anyway. Got a building called Beach Cashiers. There's a little coconut stand. I'm not sure what they do at Beach Cashiers. Banana boat, jet skis, beach massage. Bahama Mama Cam, Bahama Mama Cam. Let's see if we can find a comfortable spot to come float in the ocean some more. The sun has come out and it just makes things so much uh, more beautiful, beautiful. Manis. Man, look at all this. Nice beach. Yeah, Taino Beach is always a good day. Uh -huh. All right, ocean. It looks like everybody is pulling up roots and heading back to the beach. So I guess we will do some of that. Not sure exactly what time it is, but I guess we'll find out. We didn't bring our waterproof watch on this trip. Couldn't find it. But anyway, so we're getting mixed reports. I thought that we were gonna be back to the pier at three. Some people are saying that their bus drivers told them that we could leave at three, but we'll see what happens. Like I said, we did not get a ton of information when we got here, just pretty much. Here we go. What did Nancy, oh gosh, Nancy got you a present. Oh, that's so low pressure. Yeah. That's cute. And she loved the $2 bills that we gave her. Oh, so, oh my gosh. She just loved them. Thank you. Yeah. All right, we haven't made it back to our chair yet, but I just got the intel from Nancy that it's about 2.20 and confirmed that their driver said we could stay until 3. So she's blowing up Penelope down there. You know you got to get that photo up with the giant flamingo. Sven went over there to get the intel on the jet skis. How much? $85? 85 bucks. For how long? A minute and a half? <laughs> 30 minutes? Okay. 30 minutes. All right. Well, instead of 30 minutes, we'll just go for like 15, 12, I don't know, something, and just all four on one jet ski. We'll tag each other. Yes. Let's bask in all this gloriousness one more time while we get out of water mode and get all dressedified again. I know. <laughs> it's going to be wet, though. I'm not fully dry. I want pizza. Yeah, we're gonna get some snacks when we get on the ship. Hungry. All right, we'll take a little wander here past the straw market. Heading back toward the bus. We got a few photo ops with Penelope. Did you? Okay. The bus is leaving us. Come back, bus. There, oh, there's a fresh bus. Okay. Maybe we get a private bus. Yes. Well, that's good. So they got masks if you need them. Washy washy. Oh, I like that. Your favorite song I don't know, I think. Yes, you are. We just made some new friends here on the bus now. They're looking us up right now. They're subscribing. They're following Instagram. They're doing all the socials. Is this my cameo? Yeah. Shy. Make it make it good. Make it good. Welcome to the beautiful Bahamas. Oh, yes. Tomorrow DJ. Yes. That's right. He's looking for an American wife. <laughs> Hit that bell. Exactly. Subscribe over there. Nice. Oh my gosh. I love the call outs. Y'all, if you need YouTube or social media promotion, just call Superfly Shot. Superfly Shot. What up? Look, we got we got the whole party bus on here right now. I don't even know what's going on. All right. Y'all, we're, we're a hot mess, y'all. We're a mess. Step out in the bus, Timmy. What is the name of this island? Grand Bahama. Grand Bahama. What is the name of the city? Freeport. Freeport. They have to be to school for 845 to be the class at 9 o'clock in the morning. They get out at around 3 in the evening. Each school at the Bahamas have their own uniforms that they wear. Mrs. and Mrs. Waller Grove is the founder and developer for this island in Freeport, Grand Bahama. The Catholic church that we passed just now, that is one of the first church that Mr. Grove has really built here on this island. back 
at the pier. It's funny, we were doing our trivia game just as he was turning into the harbor. I think he got a phone call. Somebody from like Royal Caribbean was like, hey, where are those people? Pretty sure we were supposed to have left the place at at least quarter to three, uh, but we left at about three o'clock. So they were getting a little worried about us. Anyway, we're heading back to the ship. Pretty sure we're the last people getting back on, but we're not pier running today. Yeah, everything's kind of all closed down. Run, the ship's leaving. Look at them, just look at the panic in all these security guards' eyes. They're like, oh my gosh. We did it, we made it back to the ship. Let's go.